I love my MacBook Air, but I am sick and tired of it running out of storage space. If I could go back in time, I would definitely upgrade to the 512 gig, maybe even a terabyte, but at the time, it was a little bit expensive and I can't go back to the past now. So my idea is basically to take this NVMe SSD, put it into this enclosure, plug it in with this cable and then Velcro it to the back of my laptop with this. All right, this is not super complicated, so let's get started. I'm gonna begin by just opening this enclosure. I tried to get one that is color matched to my Mac as much as possible. Um, and as far as I know, this is a toolless enclosure. So just press down here. Uh, yeah, that seems to come out no problem. Uh, let's quickly open up the SSD. So this is a Hikvision E3000 SSD. All we need to do is slot this SSD into the enclosure right there. And when we slot it in, it's a pretty straightforward procedure. We just need to put that in like that. Uh, it won't always clip. That did clip for me though. And then we just need to rotate this one pin forward. There we go, something like that. Slot that back into place and our SSD is ready to go. So the idea is pretty simple. I want to attach this right here on the Mac. It is quite small and it's more or less color match. So I think that's not gonna look too terrible. I'm gonna be using this really short cable, but not too short so that as I'm opening and closing it, the cable doesn't get any tension. So I guess now all we need to do is cut a little piece of Velcro that is gonna hold this on the back of the Mac. Just a little cut like that, and then just cut it off right there. So we've got a hot glue gun now that is busy heating up. So while that's happening, I'm just gonna do a little bit of planning of exactly where this is gonna be stuck on. Let's just take this cable out of its bag. Yeah, I'm a fan of it being dead center. Let's see how that looks. Like that, like that, and then my line. And I think that's good and stick it on. On the SSD, I'm not too cared about how much glue I put. Um, as long as there is glue, I am happy. So I'm gonna blob it on a little bit, squeeze it down a little bit. Okay, so we have our Velcro on the back of the MacBook and we have our Velcro on the back of the SSD. Let's just take that quickly, put it on. Hopefully it doesn't look too awful. Squeeze it down like that. And there you have it, that is the look. Now, let's do some speed tests to see if this thing is actually gonna be helpful at all. Okay, so we're here on my Mac now. I have plugged in the hard drive and I formatted it. So let's just run a little speed test on this now. I'm gonna select the target device to be my storage. I'm gonna click open and click start. And this will tell us how fast it's gonna go. And it is going very slow, incredibly slow. It shouldn't be going at that speed. So our enclosure says that it reads at 10 gigabits per second and our drive says that it's 3,500 megabits per second. So my suspicion is this cheap little cable that I bought. So I'm gonna quickly eject the drive and I'm going to swap it for the cable that came with the enclosure. Okay, so that's been plugged in now with the cable that came with the enclosure. So this one should perform a little bit better. Um, if it doesn't, we know that we've got a problem with our drive, but hopefully not. So I'm selecting target device, storage, and pressing start. Okay, and we're getting substantially quicker speeds. Not as quick as advertised on the box, but this is more than enough for me. I'm quite happy with that. It can read at 3,500 apparently, but I'm not too concerned about that. For me, I basically just need an extra storage space for all of my files. So there are a couple reasons that I went for a system like this. One, size, two, cost. Size-wise, this is much smaller than most SSDs that you can get. And two, cost-wise, it is much cheaper than most SSDs that you buy. Also, what's nice about this is it's upgradable. If you buy a one terabyte external SSD and you want a two terabyte external SSD, with this, you just need to buy the internal NVMe SSD, which is quite nice. So this definitely solves my problems. Hopefully it's useful to you too, and it can solve some of yours.